What's up everybody? Andrew Steele here. Today I'm at the RV show here in Arizona and I'm going to go through a bunch of different coaches and try to share as much knowledge and information about these coaches as I have. One of the things that sparked this trip to the RV show was last week on the Tiffin Owners Group I saw a post about the build quality of the new Tiffins that they saw on at the RV show here in Arizona. So there was another RV show this week. I wanted to come down here with my camera. I'm gonna take a look at a bunch of different rigs and try to get you guys a good inside look at the build quality at the new Tiffins that they're putting on the line at the RV show. I did go on the morning of the first day, so I was able to see all of the coaches before everybody ravaged through them. It's got the full closet in front there now. Oh, jeez. As he breaks the window. Nothing's broken though, I promise. I'm gonna walk through a whole bunch of Tiffin coaches. I'm actually in a 2019 Tiffin Phaeton right now, so I wanna do a few things today. I wanna show you some tours of a bunch of new Tiffin coaches for sale here at the RV show. I wanna show you the RV prices so you can have a good idea at what the blowout deals are and what they're selling the Tiffin coaches for at the RV show in Arizona. And then I also want to go through quality control issues and kind of go through the coaches and see what I can find and share that information with you guys. This is a used 2018 Tiffin Allegro bus priced at $365,000. Well, the same Allison 3000. So now we are on a hunt for defects. My buddy that's with me is really meticulous and really sees a lot of minor defects. Andrew, look at the light. When did the 20s come out? Uh, not until probably the 1st of August. So anything special we should know about this coach at all? Like robust. Don't get much better than that. Zephyr. <laughs> yeah, Michael used to have a Zephyr. Oh, yeah. Now he's got a marathon coach. What's the reason for these lights flickering like this? Uh, they probably got a couple of bad bulbs. I'll replace them. Oh, okay. Not bad. Tiffin's definitely changed. So this is the 45 OP? Yeah, I believe it is. Dude, you're an RV salesman. You don't even know what model it is? So this was the first coach we walked through and we really didn't see any quality defects other than the flickering lights. My buddy that's with me has a marathon coach and is extremely meticulous about having everything perfect so he's able to see any defects. This is the Tiffin Wayfarer. This is Tiffin's entry level class B rig, but I still wanted to check on build quality. This is a 2020 on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis and at $129,864 I would expect really good build quality. My buddy with the marathon was picking at that step a little bit. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I was really impressed with the layout and I think the Murphy bed is a great option to keep an open floor. Nice, place. nice sink, big bathroom. This is a 2020 probably. We did see a loose piece of trim, but that is expected at rigs at the RV show. The song really describes the situation well, but I wasn't able to figure this thing out. Oh, I need you, dude, I need your camera. And I told you my buddy with the marathon was going to nitpick every little detail he could find. There was overspray in the door jam, and then really poor paint work on the door jam. I was a little disappointed. I'm in a 2019 Tiffin Allegro Bus 45 OPP. So just wanted to give you guys a quick tour. Good job with the colors. Little quality control issue I've noticed yeah. on every one of them. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing a few quality control issues on the woodwork right here. The flooring I'm really impressed with though. I really like the detail work up here in the ceiling as well. Now this has got the bath and a half. That's the nice thing about the 45 OPP compared to the 45 MP that we just had. 
different, yeah. Yeah, the 45 MP had the central bath, bath and this has got a half bath plus the rear bath. Um, the new Tiffins, I'm really impressed with the design, but I'm a little bit concerned about uh, the build quality when I see stuff like this the TV. at an RV show. Are you able to get a good job? Yeah, the TV bath? is, the motor mount's broken. Yeah, so the bathroom back here though, really beautiful bathroom. The colors they did in designing these, they really did a great job. I was looking at some other coaches yesterday and I'm impressed with the, the new color schemes and the new designs of Tiffin, but I do have some concerns with build quality as I walk through and see little stuff like that TV motor mount. Nice big closet back here. The 45 OPP really is a great floor plan. This is the Tiffin Allegro Bus 45 MP. I really like the black and blue paint job. They're finally getting away from the beige and burgundy. This is $367,000 for the show special. The sticker price is $490,000. I like this with the central back here. I know. Central <laughs> bath. Oh yeah, yeah. Usually I like the rear baths. This is actually kind of This cool. is pretty sweet. 19, 45 MP. 19. Okay, so one of the things that I noticed here on this front seat, there's a bunch of little crumbs, and I'm trying to figure out why they would have that. I'm sure they cleaned this coach before they put it in an RV show, so there must be something up above here that's causing the, sand, the, the, the sawdust to fall out of this vent. It looks like the AC is blowing the sawdust, and it's falling on the deal. So this coach has already came all the way from Red Bay, Alabama, and it's still got sawdust coming out of the roof. That's a little disconcerting. This woodwork right here though, it looks like there's a little bit of clear coat running. 40 foot, a little bit smaller than the other couple buses that I just walked through. I'm definitely really impressed with the finishes that um, Tiffin is stepping up to. Their design team is definitely doing a great job. Uh, really cool floor plan. I like the rear bath in this. I like the big touch screen panels. Those are really nice. As well as the fireplace with the LED lighting below the fireplace here. I really thought that was cool. Um, a lot of nice little details in the ceiling. They've really done a good job with that. The bathroom isn't quite as big as the 45 OPP and the 45 MP that we were just in, but a really nice floor plan. Definitely, uh, you know, a few build quality issues I've seen a few quality control issues that I've seen in the Tiffins, but not as much as they were talking about on the Tiffin forum last week. I've gone through probably 10 Tiffins now, and I've seen a few little minor defects, definitely some stuff that should have been caught, but I haven't caught in anything that's the, I haven't run into anything that's the end of the world yet. But. There are only so many cosmetic problems that we're gonna find at an RV show. I think the RV dealer did a much better job at prepping the coaches here. My buddy that I brought along literally picks apart any little minor defect in everything he sees. And for us to walk through 10 coaches and for my buddy to not have a hundred item list of all these coaches is kind of surprising. So the biggest defects I saw at the show was overspray and flat spots in the woodwork, as well as overspray and flat spots in the exterior painting. Now, we didn't go through the exteriors of the larger motor coaches they have because all of them were really dirty, so it would be really hard to see overspray. But I did point that out earlier on the Tiffin Wayfarer inside. This was one of my favorite coaches at the show, the 
Tiffin Phaeton 44OH. I actually made another video comparing this to a Thor Tuscany. I thought this was a great value for $300,000. Overall, I'm really impressed with the new Tiffins. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more RV related content, please subscribe and like. Safe travels.